Hello YouTube, this is my modified electroharmonic soul food. Uh, I have changed the clipping diodes out to germanium ones, which is very common, or very, you know, common thing to do. Uh, and then also added a capacitor to the low end circuit to give it more girth, I guess, a little bit more low end as you turn the gain knob up. Now, why do you want this? Because typically, typically, um, in a clon type circuit, it as you turn the gain up, the low end goes down, your mid range goes up, and uh, so what this is kind of help do is is even things out because if you've ever listened to a shootout between electroharmonic soul food and an actual clon, the soul food has kind of a harsher upper mid range thing, a bit of hump to it, also cuts the low end out a lot more than any other of you know any of the other you know. Clon clones versus, like, say, a Rocky Repair, a Rocky Repair amp, or a, uh, um, a especially against like a Tumnus or a um, what was it, the J Rocket Archer Icon, blah blah blah. There's a bunch of them out there, and there seem to be even more <laughs> coming out every day. But we're looking at this one in particular, so I kind of I'll fix that. And uh, I'm trying not to talk too much here, so please bear with me. The way a clon circuit works, if you're going to use a clon as a clean boost, getting any sort of mods done doesn't mean diddly squat. It's not going to change anything. It changes as you turn the gain up. So if you're going to, if you want, say, a little bit of a sweeter gain out of a soul food, and you're going to run your gain up at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, yes, it's going to make a difference. Is it going to make a difference? You know, you have just barely above it? Eh, probably not that much. You don't start hearing it, especially... Well, actually, after I changed the diodes out from the silicone to the germanium, I did notice that it reacted, uh, it kind of broke up a little quicker. Uh, whereas usually it was around noon with the silicone, it's around 10, 30, 11 o'clock with the germanium diodes. So, uh, but as, as you go up... What I've been able to do now is so that when you when you do go uh, with your with your gain up, it doesn't cut as much low end out, and you end up with about unity low end, to where it doesn't make things muddy, but it doesn't thin things out. So it sounds like you're playing through an AM radio. So enough talking here. I'm running 76 Lost Paul Deluxe George L cables into the modified soul food and into the Fender Hot Rod Deluxe setup clean that sounds something like this. First pick up neck. So here is the soul food as a clean boost. So it's add a little bit of sparkle to it. I can actually even take some sparkle away. to. And that's the great thing about having a boost with a tone control. It's pretty much what it is at that point. Um, as you turn the gain up, however, you start to roll in some of that mid-range. Say a, a lead boost cutting through the mix. You know, a lot of guys use it this way. And usually, I also kind of crank the volume up. So they're pushing their amp more into an overdrive, you know, territory. Now, as you turn the gain up. And 
this is kind of where the Dios are doing their their due diligence here in the gain section of it. <laughs> Changing out to the germanium ones has kind of made it to where when you dig in, it doesn't get as harsh on the high end. And uh, as it's almost like there's a shrillness in the gain when you had the silicone diodes in there. So to me, that I'm a guy who uses a clone as a as an overdrive. So why? Because I don't know. I just like it. I don't know. But um, you know the the standard or the the stock soul food does have a bit of harshness in the gain as you do turn it up, uh, so this kind of helps sweeten that a bit, uh, especially on the on that you know when you dig in with your guitar when you start to really use your dynamics. Now here it is with gain at one o'clock. <laughs> Once you get past this three o'clock point, that's where it gets a little, uh, you can get quite a bit of gain out of the thing. and you're pushing that amp a little harder um, but it's not cutting it which is normally when you turn the gain all the way up like that you're gonna be pretty thin <laughs> There's a little rundown here of, of the soul food. Now I'm going to go ahead and kick on the gain channel of the amp and run through some of the settings real quick uh, through the gain uh, just to kind of show how it pushes you know, the amp into overdrive a little, a little easier. But I've got it set up with a you know, nice light overdrive where if I dig in hard it starts to break up. Push it here is strictly a clean boost.
sound samples here of that. And uh, sorry for the long video, but I hope you learned something. Yay, learning things is fun. All right, bye YouTube.